Welcome folks, we're started early as per usual here. We should have known better, we're still trying to get the scorecard written in. Get the score up on the screen and everything else for you, but leadoff batter Will Major just kind of flares one over second base to get things started here for the Saskatchewan Delisle Fort Protection Pride. They're facing off against Team Quebec. The winner of this game moves on to play the Owen Sound Selects tomorrow for the chance to play in the final against Tavistock Merchants who just defeated the Owen Sound Selects 4-2. Alors bienvenue, mesdames et messieurs, Charles Leclerc avec la balle. Will Major au premier but. Troy Kuzminka au bâton, Will Major au deuxième. Je vais juste te dire que le gagnant de cette partie ici a la chance de... Mais... Ils ont la chance de jouer contre Owen Sound Selects demain. Puis le gagnant de cette partie-là jouera contre... Tavistock Merchants for the Championnat National Canadian. Kuzminka in the left. Will Major blows a wheel coming around third, and unfortunately, he would have scored easily. Wisely goes back instead of trying to get up and come home. Now batting the shortstop, number 19, Brant Weeby. So Kuzminka up to the two spot in the lineup. We haven't seen him there yet, Adam. But uh, that brings up the shortstop, Brent Weeb, who's also had himself a great week. Runners at first and third. Nobody out. Charles Leclerc with the ball. Zach Dutzil just calling things out to his teammates. First pitch in there for a strike. Both these teams played today. Both teams won today. And they are both here now. Team Quebec. Well, let's go back even further. Saskatchewan Delisle for Protection Pride, as the fifth seed, came into the 11:30 game this morning and defeated. Team Newfoundland Physio and Co. Sending Team Newfoundland home and moving them to this game here. Our two o'clock game featured Team Quebec and the host Ottawa Valley Chiefs. Team Quebec won that game, giving themselves the opportunity to play here. So as I said, the winner of this game moves on to play the Owen Sound Selects tomorrow morning at noon. And then the winner of that moves on to play the Tavistock Merchants at 3 p.m. in the championship game. And the loser of this one, their tournament's done, but they can keep their heads high as they'll be the fourth place finisher in this event. That one driven back up the middle, past the diving Xavier Dano. And Oakley Durham Cashes Will Major from third. Troy Kuzminka advances to second. With one out, the batter is the third baseman, number one, Max Major. <laughs> that pitch gets away. Kuzminka into third, slides in under the tag. Big man scampers down on the pass ball. A wild pitch. That's a tough one for Zach Zutzil to corral. Runners at second and third. Still just the one out. Gets the call on the outside corner. Max Major. Looking to cash a couple more runners here. Max fouls that one off. He was still in the box when it hit him. Dead ball. 
One ball, two strikes. Just the one out. Charles Octave avec la balle. Le lancer. Balle bien frappée au champ gauche-centre. Centre-gauche. Two runners come in to score. Oakley Durham and Troy Kazminka. And the Saskatchewan team is rolling here in the first. One out, the catcher, number 18, Kobe Clark. Their bats have really come alive today, Brian. They hit okay during the round robin play, but they've really, really come alive last night and today. Amazing what a, a delivery of your own bats does. Again, certain courier remaining unnamed. Didn't get the Pride's bats here on time. Some local fastball players lent them bats for the preliminary rounds. Delivery arrived and they've been firing on all cylinders since. That one smacked a deep left center and out of here for a th two run home run by Kobe Clark. The Pride jump out to an early 5-0 lead here in the top of the first. Rough start. Coach Jean-Yves Doucette's already out here for a quick visit in the circle. He brings out catcher Zach Dutil as well to discuss about What's transpired so far, which is six batters, one strikeout, and five runs. Uh, scoreboard does say six, but the, the scoreboard here at the park says six. As far as we have it, it is five. Well, there was a strikeout, and this is the seventh batter. With one out, the batter is the center fielder, number 22, Ryan Becknell. That one's pushed down the left field line foul. Claire delivers. Pick now goes to the shortstop, and he's speedy, speedy down the base pass. That no, not able to get him at first. That's six hits and seven batters here in the top of the first inning. This one out, the batter is the designated player, number nine, Jordan Perrin. So Bicknell takes off, steals second. Good throw from Zachary Dutil. Not there to get him in time. And Bicknell in the scoring position for the designated player today, Jordan Perrin. Rips that one into the hole on the left side. For another hit. Bicknell advances to third, and Jordan Perrin stays put at first. Coach Doucette's looks like he's seen enough. Rough start for the youngster. Threw well last game, Adam. He did. He's a young fellow to be playing against this Saskatchewan team. Charles Leclerc, only 17 years old. And Alex Perjean, who... Coming to spell him is only 19 years old. The pride all over looked out to start this game. Seven hits in the first eight batters.
This pitching change brought to you by Durant Barristers. Aaron Durant, a key member of our organizing committee. He's done so much to make this a possibility. In her spare time, she's a lawyer with her own firm, but she's not spending her energy on the organizing committee. Thanks a lot, Aaron, for your support, both financially and with all your hard work to make this a possibility. Also give a big shout out, Adam. I know we've got lots of fans tuning in from both these teams, Quebec and Saskatchewan, a ways to travel and a set of grandparents watching at home who very kindly pass along some nice words for you and me. Let's appreciate it. Maintenant, mon skill pour Team Québec, le numéro 39, Alex Bayargent. While we have this time, I'll mention our title sponsor as well, Ryan. Alterna Savings, been a huge supporter of this event right from when we first were awarded the bid. We were originally supposed to be in 2020. COVID cancelled the next two and they stuck with us the whole time. Their financial support made it possible to put forward an event like this. And we thank them for their generosity and support of community events such as the 2022 Softball Canada Under-23 Men's National Dylan Championship. Quinlog. So we got Dylan Quinlog up to bat here. He's the ninth hitter to come to the plate. There's only one out. Quinlog, going to see if he can keep the train rolling. Jordan Perrin on first and Ryan Bicknell on third. Mm, Zachary Dutille calling out the signs to his infield. Changement de lanceur. Charles Leclerc a bien lancé ce matin. Il a discuté dans cette partie ici. Safe, and the runner comes home too. So the old double steal. And Bicknell scampers home from third for the sixth run of the inning for the Pride. Alors Charles Leclerc, comme je disais, il a bien lancé ce matin. Un peu de difficulté ici. Alors maintenant, Alex Bergeon, qui a aussi bien lancé cette semaine. Il a été nommé un de nos étoiles, All-Star Pitcher. 19 manches. 18 retraits. Surprise. Il est aussi bien frappé. But sur balle ici. Et le premier frappeur, Will Major. So Will Major up to bat. Now batting with one out. The second baseman, number seven, Will Pride have batted around, and there's still only one out. Runners on first and second, Adam. Team Quebec in a bit of trouble here. That's yeah, not the way they wanted to start, obviously. Young team against a veteran team. Young pitchers. That one's... Sky to left, Nathan Caron into foul territory to make the out. Second out of the inning. With two out, the batter is the first baseman, number 20, Troy Kosminka. Kosminka up at the plate again. Hit a single in the first, or in the first, we're still in the first, hit a single earlier in the inning and rips another one into center. Coming home, cut off, and Jordan Perrin able to score. So Kazminka two for two. The, two out now batting the, the pride up now seven nothing. Brandt 
Brandt's been busy in the field all week and he's been doing well at the plate. And surprisingly, you flinched on that one and I didn't. <laughs> Some of those Pride fans don't recognize that bat in Brant Weeb's hands. It's a borrowed bat from my partner in crime here, Adam Brown, that he's been using all week, as we mentioned on the broadcast earlier this morning. Adam might have trouble getting it back the way Brant's been swinging it here. That one's pushed through the hole between first and second. Runners hold. Two outs, coach held. With two out. Dylan Quinlog at third. The left fielder, number six, Oakley Durham. That's the ninth hit of this inning, Ryan. So nine hits, seven runs, bases loaded, two out. Alex Barjon trying to get out of the first inning here. Strike on the inside corner. Oh, one one count. Oakley Durham had a single for an RBI earlier in the inning. That misses high, two and one. Durham wears that one on the elbow. He had his protection on there. Hopefully it didn't hurt too much. He seems to be okay. But Jean has shown this week that he's not afraid to pitch inside. That one just got away from him a bit. Major slaps that one through the hole on the left side. Two more runs are going to come in. Those are the ninth and tenth runs of this inning, Ryan. A great start to the game here for the Pride. Cut into bat with two out. The catcher, number 18, Kobe Clark. Clark has already got a home run this inning. Two-run shot. Quebec does have two outs here. Looking to get out of the inning. I have not seen another pitcher for Team Quebec. Are you, have you, Ryan, seen anyone else? I've only seen these two throw. 1-1 one, one count. I haven't watched every one of their games, but I don't recall seeing anyone else pitch for the team. In the Ross, or in the program, they also do have Julien Fournier listed as a pitcher, but we have not seen him yet this week. That one's slap foul down the right side. Fournier might be in the program, but he's not listed on the lineup card. So this might be in Alex's hands. Yeah. Colby Clark down on strikes. So they scored 10 runs in that first inning, did the Delisle-Saskatchewan Pride. Puts Team Quebec in a big hole 
coming up here in the bottom of the first inning. Bienvenue au retour. <coughs> Début de la game que on n'aurait pas pu prévenir. Québec au bâton. Et comme on a dit dans les commentaires, un à la fois, les gars. On verra s'ils sont capables. Mount visit already. From home plate umpire. Dave Harrington out to have a brief chat there with Braden Harris. Our officials uh, for this game, the four official system, Dave Harry Harrington, excuse me, is on the plate. Andrew Godin is on first. Malcolm Murray is on second. And well Jean-Claude Jean -Claude Boisvert is on third. But foul. That would have given the foul at State Street, given the Team Quebec a little boost, but last it hooked foul. Two strikes. Misses away. One and two. For those of you that might be wondering, the Softball Canada run rule in effect is 15 runs ahead after three, 10 runs ahead after four, and seven runs ahead after five or six. So the game will end if any of those situations occur. Tristan Breton, une balle deux prises. Peut-être son meilleur. Comment c'est ça pour l'équipe du Québec? Or Harris misses with that one up in the zone. Deux balles, deux prises. And he gets him swinging. Strike three. Next up is the second baseman, Edouard Asselin. Big cut by Asselin there. Oh, one. In prise. Clear. 
Slap foul for strike two. Zio two pitch on the way. Ripped back up the middle, just past a diving. Will Major at second. Edouard Isle. Bien frappé. Se retrouve au premier but. Zachary Dutil au bâton. Zach able to change the score with one swing. He has shown some power this week. See if he can spark his Team Quebec teammates here. He hit three home runs just in the uh, the um, qualifying round. Change up by Harris. Harris misses up and out with that one. But was lay at first. One out. Zachary Dutil au bâton. Harris digs out the mound that was just freshly redone by our volunteer crew. This is down with that one as well. Pushes the count to three and one. Trois balles, une brise. Swing and a miss, strike two. Three balls, two strikes. That one's hit down to third. On to second. Not able to turn the double play at first. So they get the force at second. Not able to turn the double play. And Edouard Eslin will return to first base to run for Zachary Dutil. Two out catcher rule in effect. So now we have Xavier Dano at the plate. Short stop for Team Quebec. He was spent a lot of time diving around that previous inning, attempting to knock down balls. It's two out. And Aslan running for Dutils on first base. Pride did do a good job of pushing the ball backfield. Dano was busy. We're hoping to do something at the plate here. Xavier Dano au bâton. Edouard Azelin au premier but qui court pour Zachary Dutil. Deux prises. That one's hit hard. And a great diving play in left field by Oakley Durham. Wow, what an unbelievable catch out there. To end the inning. I guess that uh, pitch that drilled him in the first inning didn't slow him down any. No he went quite a ways to dive and stab that inning, great catch. Saskatchewan 10. Quebec no score. So with Quebec not we scoring any, it's 10 nothing second. after the first complete Big inning. No.
So back at the action here, top of the second inning. Saskatchewan put a 10 spot up in that first first uh, frame. Bicknell with a bunt. Bicknell lays down a bunt. Interesting decision. And by Argent, ball just didn't kick back up to his glove and went under. And now batting the designated player number nine, Jordan Perrin. Wonder if that was called by the coach or a decision on Bicknell's part. But anyway, here we are. There's a man on first. Bringing Jordan Perrin to the plate. He singled the last time, as did many of the Delisle Pride players in that first inning. There was a total of 10 hits, and they sent uh, 15 men to the plate. Bergeron skips that one into home. 1-1 one, one count. Jordan Perrin takes the sign. Bicknell at second. That one hammered down in front. No play for Zachary Dutil. Swinging bunt of sorts. Hit home plate. And now batting the right fielder number 16. In there for a swinging bunt single by Jordan Perrin. So Dylan Quinlog, sing, or he walked in the first. Got runners on first and second here. Alex Bergeron, lance pour l'équipe du Québec. Charles Leclerc, commencer la partie. So we'll see what Dylan Quinlog does here. Ball inside. Bajon well, skips that one in for ball four. As a father of a young pitcher, I certainly feel for both Leclerc and Bergeon. When it goes bad with a young pitcher, it often goes real bad. Doesn't mean they're not quality pitchers and athletes. It's just sometimes, especially with youngsters, it's very difficult to get those outs when you need them. So that rolls the lineup over. Lead off hitter Will Major, who went one for two in the first inning. He fouled the first pitch off and takes that one for a bunt, or a bunt, sorry, a ball. That one ripped through the hold. Bicknell comes in. Perrin stays at third with nobody out. The bases are still loaded. Coming to bat for Saskatchewan, the first baseman, number 20, Troy Kosminka. Brings Troy Kosminka, who had two singles and two runs scored in the first inning. Base is still loaded, nobody out. That one ripped down the left field line, fair. Kuzminka in with a stand up double and Will Major comes around from first. A little question on the chat, it's not mandatory in Quebec but Charles Leclerc, as a U-17 player, it is mandatory. It's mandatory in Ontario. I'm not sure if it's mandatory Canada-wide yet. Okay. 
But certainly, um, to your point, Ryan, my son plays U17 in Ontario. And the rule here is that pitchers must wear protective face mask and batters must wear sort of that football-style mask uh, at U17 and younger in Ontario. I'm not sure of the Softball Canada rule uh, for that, but certainly uh, I know I've seen, in our area at least, more and more younger pitchers and even some older pitchers opting to wear that protective face mask. I know that uh, that conversation actually came up this week and I am not a pitcher by any means, but the shortstop number 19, Brant Weeb. As a catcher, the ball hits your mask at a lower velocity than it would off the bat and a pitcher's face, so not a bad idea. Rise ball up and out of the zone. You certainly see a lot of protective face masks worn in the women's game as well. Not uncommon in a women's game to see all the infielders and the pitcher wearing a protective mask. To that point, Adam, in the conversation I did have the other day, is that one sliced foul? Someone said, well, are you a man or not? And I said, to be honest with you, it has absolutely nothing to do with manliness and just, for me, protecting myself. I did see a, a pitcher in one of my leagues take one off the faces. That one's drilled to left off the track because Minka will come around and weave in with a stand-up double. That makes it 15 nothing. They do have to play a minimum of three innings or two and a half. Left fielder number six, Oakley Durham. Just to finish that point, Adam, a gentleman I've played with and played against took a line drive off the face, which was not a fun sight, and ambulance had to come out onto the field. He spent so some time in hospital, didn't he? I believe he did. And now where's the face mask to pitch. Pitch misses up and out of the zone. So quick reset. Nobody out here. Five runs in. Brent Weeb on second. Oakley Durham at the plate. If you're just tuning in for the first time to watch Team Quebec, I certainly want to emphasize that they've had a really good tournament. They've played some excellent games. Uh, they've won, I can't remember their total number of games they've won, but they've won more than a few. They've uh, battled against some really good teams, so this is no way indicative of their skill level. Um, you know, it's obviously a, um, a bad outing for them, but they are a good team, and they have a great Alan. future ahead of them. They've got a very, very young squad compared to the other under-23 teams that, uh, that are here in CARP. Sorry, I'm that one slapped foul down the left field line, and I agree. They've, they're here in this game for a reason, and uh, they've been scrappy, played great defense, and had timely batting. They don't have the big stud pitchers that some of these other teams do. But they've done quite well to be in this game here today. Charles Leclerc is warming up again. He could re-enter the game to pinch once, pitch once again. And Coach Jean-Yves Doucette has him warming up in the left field bullpen. Strike on the inside corner. So Oakley Durham drew the walk. Brant Weeb's on second. Max Major at the plate, fouls that one off. Okay. 
It's a good point uh, in the comments here, Ryan from Jean Daniel Doucette. Matt Greer, who's a, who's a friend of mine um, and a teammate of mine last year, actually, in league play. And I played lots of games with and against Matty Greer. And in junior, uh, Matt took one in the face, involved an ambulance ride. And he still pitches locally. He's developed into one of the best players in, in our area. He lives in West Quebec in Shawville and plays at the open level with uh, the Niagara Stompers. And, yep, he took one in the face back in the day and I know he would recommend young pitchers to wear a protective mask for sure. So after that fielder's choice where Team Quebec got an out at second base, there's one out now. Men on the corners. Five runs put up so far by Saskatchewan this inning. They have a 15 nothing lead. That one slapped into right center. Brought in quickly by Tristan Breton, but not quickly enough to get Major at third. So Max Major advances to third on that one. Now we're adding the center fielder, number 22, Ryan Becknell. So this is the 10th man. This is the 10th man to come to the plate for Saskatchewan. Becknell bunted to lead off the inning for a single. Runners on first and second. Drives that one back up the middle. Bobble in center. Doesn't make a difference, and a run comes in to score. Ça paraît que coach Jean-Yves Doucette va faire le changement dont mon partenaire Adam discutait. Ils peuvent ramener Charles Leclerc comme lanceur pour remplacer Alex Bergeon, puis c'est ça qu'ils vont faire. Charles Leclerc is going to come back in the game. Got to give him credit for gutting it out and finishing things off. It's not easy for these youngsters, I'm sure. It's tough for any team, but... You do have to play a minimum of three, as you said, Adam, for those who weren't sure at all. So he said, they don't know if they have to play a minimum of three matches, for importe the score. Alors, le pointage est en ce moment 1 That one's fouled off. Mm-hmm. Jordan Perrin at the dish. Got two singles and two runs scored on the day. Runners at first and second. A great change up there by Charles Leclerc. Just the one out. Alors, un retiré en ce moment. Charles Leclerc lance. Fausse balle. Une balle, deux prises. Je crois. On verra ici dans deux secondes. J'espère de l'arbitre. 
Et non, il ne m'aide pas. Another change up from Lacal. Pairing out ahead of that one as well. Using that one a bit more effectively here in this at bat. Gets Perrin on the strikeout swinging. Good squeeze by Zach Gary Dutil. Now batting with two out, the right fielder, number 16, Dylan Quinlaw. Jordan Perrin will go back into run for catcher Colby Clark. Strike on the inside corner. Another effective change up. This is Saskatchewan's 27th batter of the game so far. We'll also note, Adam, that we discussed earlier, Team Quebec only having thrown two pitchers. And most teams here this week threw three pitchers at minimum over the course of the week. So these two young men, 17 and 19 year old, maybe just running out of gas. Change up ripped. Xavier Dano got a glove on it. Looked like it was going to be the third out of the inning. And unfortunately, gets in under his glove. Xavier Dano, ça va être l'art qui allait l'attraper, mais malheureusement, tombé de son gant. Puis pas capable de terminer la manche pour l'équipe du Québec. Rolls things back over to the top of the lineup for the Saskatchewan Delal for Protection Pride. Will Major with his fourth at bat in two innings. He's two for three, two singles, RBI and two runs scored. An opportunity for more RBIs here if he can push something through. Loses that one. Up into the screen, but pride player, pl the pride player is respectfully staying put. Strike three looking. So Will Major is retired to end the inning. But not until Adam, the Pride put up another seven runs and pushed the score to 17 nothing after one and a half. Attention fans, we have the results of the 
We're back here at the bottom of the second inning in what's been a tough game for Equipe Quebec. Charles Leclerc, bien frappé au champ gauche. Et l'équipe du Québec a un croire sur les buts. Give them credit. They're not quitting. Tell you, Adam, Coach Jean-Yves Doucet, he's got this team, and it is a team. It is not a bunch of guys put together. It is a team, and, and they chat positively after every game, win or loss. And their team spirit is always up. Coach Jean-Yves Doucet, peu importe le score, Encourage toujours ses joueurs. Et ce que je viens de dire, c'est que peu importe que s'ils gagnent ou ils perdent, il y a des bonnes discussions positives euh, avec ses joueurs après chaque, chaque game. I'm not sure if Harris and Clark are on the same page there. Quick chat. Make sure they are. Nathan Caron has demonstrated some power here this week. And I'm sure he'd love to hit a long ball here to get his team on the board. Charles Leclerc down to third. That one's hammered into the ground. Charles Leclerc comes in to score. Break the shutout. And a good job hitting by Nathan Caron to push him across. That makes it 17-1, Ryan. Bringing up Samy Paré, first baseman. Who was busy in the earlier game today, defensively at first. Fouls that one off his foot. Just the one out here in the bottom of the second. Pride leading 17 to one. That one's pushed into right. And we'll drop in for a single. Bien frappé par Samy Paré. On va attendre avec un retrait, le joueur du troisième but, numéro 15, Félix Isabelle. Félix Isabelle, je crois Adam a frappé un coup sur le cuit. La dernière partie, c'est tout ça? Oui, c'était Isabelle. Qui, au début du tournoi... Oui, c'était le flex player. Était le joueur flex qui ne frappe pas. ne frappe pas au bâton. Alors, il a bien changé ça. Un retrait. Un joueur au premier but. Et Félix Isabelle au bâton. Braden Harris. Does not seem too happy with the mound here on Diamond One. Digging things out and giving himself a better landing spot. Gets the pitch. Sets. Fires. Swing and a miss. Misses away with that. Oh, 
Big hop there, well played by Major. Took a dirty hop on him, but he really did make a nice play to get the second out. So Sammy Paré au deuxième, deux retraits. Crowd thinned out here, Adam, after the big one versus two game, but still quite a number of fans around and things, I'd love to say cooling off a bit, but still pretty muggy, but the sun has dropped and the Humidex is down to 39. Oh my goodness, get a sweater. It's been muggy, it's been sunny, it's been hot. But I wouldn't trade it. Nope. We've had an unbelievable day of ball today. Had a great week of weather. Wow. Drilled right back at Harris. Ball was stung right back at him. Managed to get a glove on it. Bounced out, picked it up, and threw it on the so first for the third out. The bottom of the second. Do up in the top of the so we're 17 1 after two complete. We'll see what happens here in the top of the third. Reminder, the 15-run rule would be in effect here. Quebec will definitely have to score some runs in the bottom of the third to keep the game going. Troy Kozminka coming to the plate here in the top of the third inning. Saskatchewan ahead of Quebec, 17 to one. Kozminka launches that one out to right on the track, brought in by Tristan Breton. Got a nice comment here in the chat, Ryan, from Eric Wilson. Eric from New Zealand, he played ball here for the Carp Valley Pride in the early 90s. Eric, just to let you know, you're Colleague Ross Wallace was here during the weekend. Him and his wife, Sandra, selling some merchandise. Donnie Cox was here and threw out the first pitch, even though he was a center fielder, of course. And Randy Peck was here to, uh, to catch the first pitch. I believe all three of those fellas, former teammates of yours, when you told the rubber for the Carp Valley Pride back in the day, and I used to come watch you at the fairgrounds. Thanks for reaching out. That's a 5-3 put out there for the second out of the inning for Team Quebec. With two out, the left fielder, number six, Oakley Durham. So two outs, Oakley Durham up to bat. Team Quebec looking to have a quick 1-2-3 inning and put some runs up in the bottom half to stay alive in the game and the tournament. That one's ripped through the hole. For a single by Oakley Durham. I think his arm's okay after that play at short. And now this.
Max Major up. With two out. Oakley Durham on first. Takes a healthy cut at that rise ball outside and fouls it back into the screen. Charles Leclerc with the lancé. Ball change up. Lancé à Mikael au deuxième. Et la manche terminée pour l'équipe de Saskatchewan. So nothing there for Saskatchewan. They did get a hit and they left a base runner on. So after two and a half, we're 17 to 1. We'll need to see at least uh, two runs to keep this game going. All right, we're back here in the bottom of the third inning. Team Quebec down 17 to one. We're back at the top of the order and Tristan Breton's up. He scorches one to third, but Major picks that cleanly and throws it over to Kuzminka for the first out of the inning. Alors, l'équipe du Québec doit compter au moins deux fois pour continuer la partie. Un retrait, Mikael au bâton. Brendan Harris looking to get two more outs and end this game for the Pride. Pride would be happy if this score held and they get out of it early and not have to throw the race. Caden Schmatz today, again, who threw earlier to get them into this game and will likely tow the rubber for their game tomorrow if they hold on against the Owen Sound Selects. That game goes at noon tomorrow. The winner of this game winner of this game will play Owen Sound for the right to go and play the uh, Tavistock Merchants in the final scheduled for three. Now, if you're a big fast pitch fan and you don't want to miss a pitch, I'm going to give you a pro tip. Check Facebook a little bit early because our friends on the officiating, cr officiating crew have tended to get the game started a little bit before the scheduled time. So you want to make sure you're going to be online to see it. Tune in a little bit early. Aside from the heat, Adam, the weather has been more than cooperative this week. We did have a sprinkle of rain on Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. as we've said, all the days rolling into one. Uh, pulled his hands in, chopped it, and in there. Nice hitting by Mikael. We talked about on an earlier broadcast, Ul is only 16 years old, playing at the U23 level. And that's not his first hit. No, he's had a pretty good tournament for a 16-year-old. So we've got a new hitter here as well. This is Philippe Boucher is into the game, replacing Zachary Dutille. 
So on the weather, I think all we've had, Adam, is maybe a three-minute rain delay during the Quebec. Yep, that's right. I it was can't remember who they were playing, but I know it was Quebec on Wednesday. Yeah, it was a very brief delay. Everybody evacuated the diamond, went into the shelter, and then the rain stopped, and we got back at it relatively soon. We took a break, and we were hardly off the air at all. Wool advances to second base on the wild pitch. There's one out. Coach is coming out for a visit in the circle. You know. 17-1 game. I'm not sure exactly what strategic advice could be done here. Maybe there maybe there's some sort of injury issue or something. I'm not sure. Not sure if Robbie Clark took that one up high. Yeah. Hopefully he's okay. Coach is maybe just checking on him. He's readjusting his chest protector. It took a second. Much easier tournament to put on when the weather cooperates and you don't have delays or you don't have to push games to the next day, etc. Harris misses with that one. Philippe Boucher au bâton qui remplace Zachary Dutil. Bussordal. Au bâton avec un retrait numéro 40, Xavier Dano. Alors Xavier essaiera de continuer ça pour l'équipe du Québec. Ils doivent compter au moins deux fois. Deux fois pour continuer la game. Un retrait, deux coureurs. Members of Team Quebec still urging on their teammates. Great spirit despite the score. Two one count. They know rips out and fair ball into the corner. And in there for a triple, Xavier Dano and keeping Team Quebec's hopes alive. Yep, that makes it 17 to three now, Ryan. With one out, and Dano on third, and Leclerc coming to bat. He singled last time he was up. That ground ball to third scores Dano, so an RBI, RBI for Leclerc, and we're 17-4 now. Sorry, Adam, it ain't over till it's over, as the late great Yogi Berry used to say. Pas fini tant que c'est pas fini, in the comments by Jean Daniel. There you go. That one's ripped into center. Nathan Caron. Sami singled in his previous at bat. He's coming up with a man on first and two out.
smacks one down the line, and it's fair, according to home plate umpire Dave Hetherington, Harrington. Into the scores corner. another run. Stand-up triple for Paré. Another run in. Makes it 17-5. Félix Isabelle au bâton. Ça m'y paraît au troisième. Bien frappé encore. That gets past Brent Weeb. Quebec Cash is another one. 17-6. Team Quebec putting a couple runs up here with two outs and looks like Caden Schmatz is heading down the right field line to start warming up for the Pride. That one's just foul. Hammer just foul. Just foul. He just about smashed one out of the park there, Ryan. It was very close. Vincent Godet. The bit of power. Just about put two more runs up on the board for Team Quebec. really have to give the Team Quebec credit, Ryan, for not quitting, for putting in the effort. There's a lot of teams that just would have mailed this third inning in and packed their bags. And I'd say head to the beer tent, but most of them probably aren't old enough to have a beer. Very true. Gutsy performance, and they're not done. Here's the pitch from Harris. Down for a ball. On the appeal, first base umpire Andrew Godin says he did go around, so two strikes. Is <laughs> a pitch. Popped up. And back out of play and off the little shelter here. The shelter that's protecting uh, Softball Canada official Sophie Bedard. Good thing it held firm or might have smacked her right in the head. Another 0-2 pitch on the way here from Harris. That one's ripped up the middle. Wow. Great diving play by Will Major to stab that ball and Tap second base and get the pride out of the inning. Yeah, so Team Quebec, they scored five runs. They had five hits. They sent nine men to the plate. They got themselves back in this game somewhat. It's 17 for Saskatchewan, six for Quebec, coming in to the top of the fourth.
in there, Sean. You good? All right, we're back here at Carp for the under-23 Softball Canada Men's Fast Pitch Championship. It's the top of the fourth inning. We got Kobe Clark at bat here, the catcher. Kobe's team's up 17 to six after a 10 run first, a seven run second. We had softball Quebec's U23 team bounce back in the bottom of the third, putting up some runs to get back into this game. Now there is a 10 run ahead rule after four, so Quebec will have to score at least one, depending on what, or two, excuse me, depending on what goes on here in the top of the fourth. Charles Leclerc started the game, came out of the game, is back in the game. Has a single and an RBI on the other side of the slate too. Yeah, it was beauty. So Colby Clark in his previous at-bats, he's got a two-run homer and an RBI single. Struck out to end the first. There is a massive, massive dog that has picked up that ball. I'm not sure I would challenge that dog for that ball. Keep that ball away from this dog. K-Masters are $113 a dozen the last time I bought them. That is correct. Das, we'll have to ask that dog for nine bucks. Ain't no more dog action. Back to the ball game. Kobe Clark walks to lead off the inning for the Delisle Pride. That brings up Ryan Bick now. number 12, Scott Yellowlees. Oh, Scott Yellowlees is in the game. Excuse me, he's uh, now in for Bick now. That's 12 and 22 there. You'll forgive me, I hope. Yellowlees rolls over on that one down to third. On to second for the first out of the inning. And Yellowlees will find himself at first after the fielder's choice. So they got one out. Jordan Perrin's coming to bat. Jordan's got a pair of singles and a strikeout here. Fourth at bat in the fourth inning. Merci, Jean Daniel. That one skied in behind us again. Almost took out the porta potty. Great change up again from Charles Leclerc in there for a strike. Used that effectively since coming back into the game. Rise ball up and in. Alors, comme je disais, Charles Leclerc, ça s'est pas bien passé dans sa première chance. Contre la Saskatchewan. Alex Bergeon, il a eu sa chance. Ça s'est pas bien passé non plus. Et Charles Leclerc lance bien ici dans sa deuxième chance. With one out, the batter is the right fielder, number 16, Dylan Quinlaw. So Dylan Quinlong comes to bat here. He's walked twice and hit a single. Got two on for the pride. First and second with one out. 
They're up 17 to six in the top of the fourth. So as we mentioned before, Adam, there is a 10 run rule after four. So if the Pride are able to tack on some, sounds crazy to say insurance runs when you're up 17-6, <laughs> but essentially that's what they would be if they can tack a couple on here and Agreed. keep the 10 run rule in effect. Caden Schmott still warming up down the right field line. Not sure if he's going to come in and try and shut the door for one inning. We'll Possibility. So as you said, Dylan Quinlog, two walks and a single, two runs scored. Doing his part here to take the pride to a 17-6 lead. And Charles Leclau. Get some swinging there. With two out, the batter is for the second, second out of the inning. Seven, Will Major. Rolls the lineup over at him and brings Will Major back to the plate. Yep, top of the shop here, Will Major. It's his fifth at bat of the game. Great defensive play by Mika. Ooh. Knocked down nicely. Picks it up off the ground and throws it over to first to get Major and end the inning. The youngster with a great play to stop the stop the inning. So we're going into the bottom of the fourth here. No runs for they need th two minimum to keep this game going. They're down 17 to six. So with the 10 run ahead rule, Team Quebec will be playing for at least two. I wouldn't count them out here either, Adam. They've Absolutely not. They always scrappy. So we're back here at the bottom of the fourth inning and the Lyle Pride did make a pitching change. So Caden Schmatz is now in the game hoping to close this off for Team uh, Delisle Pride. That one's chopped back to the mound. One pitch, one out. Tristan Breton went down. Uh, um, yes, Tristan Breton yep, was the first out of the inning. So Ull, who's coming off that great defensive play to end the Saskatchewan rally, he's up the bat. He singled the last time he was up. Unbelievable play. No quit in these guys from Quebec. Comme on disait, Mika Ull, il a fait un jeu formidable au deuxième but. May never see the continue the game for the keep to Quebec. That was that one off. Two strikes. Slaps that one foul.
Change up popped up. A great play there by Brent Weave to go out. Essentially stole a hit there from Young Wool. Brant has been busy all week at shortstop and has made a lot of fine defensive plays for the Pride. So down to their last out. Philippe Boucher is now at bat. He came in in the third. He walked in his previous at bat. Not a legal pitch called there. So I guess they're not giving any warnings for that. Well, Adam? he did talk to him did earlier after his very okay, first pitch. He went out and had a wee conversation with him. So I guess okay, that I didn't see that. Sorry. Yeah, that must have been his warning then, I suppose. Okay. This umpire has called a number of illegal pitches this week. Caden threw a complete game this morning. Oh, oh. Not sure he was called for one in that game. Philippe Boucher. Essaye de continuer ça pour l'équipe du Québec. Une balle de prise. Schmatz with the one-two pitch. Would have had the strikeout in the game one. Yep. But an illegal pitch called. Another one there, yes. So two balls, two strikes. Two-two pitch on the way. Foul tip and just missed it. Kobe Clark not able to hold on to it. So another 2-2 two -two pitch on the way, two outs. He gets him swinging to end the game for the Saskatchewan Delisle Fort Protection Pride. So Delisle will play tomorrow at noon. That would be 10 a.m. in Saskatchewan. They will play the Owen Sound Selects. The loser of that will get the bronze medal. The winner of that game will advance to play the Tavistock Merchants in the championship final at 3 p.m., 1 p.m. Saskatchewan time. As mentioned, I'd recommend checking in early just in case the game gets started. That's beyond the control of Ryan and I when the games start. So, the so Team Quebec finishes fourth. Please come to the scorer's desk. The winning pitcher is Braden Harris. He had relief from Caden Schmatz. Charles Leclerc would be the losing pitcher. And he had relief from Alex Bergeon. And then Charles came in again to finish the game. Amazing amount of determination, as our PA announcer, Chad Milne, said. They didn't give up. And a fourth place finish is very respectable for this young team. So that's it for today. Somebody will be back with you tomorrow at noon and 3 on Championship Sunday. Merci beaucoup et félicitations à l'équipe uh, du Québec. Comme vous avez peut-être uh, entendu l'annonceur, les jeunes gars, ils n'ont pas arrêté ça. Ils ont continué, puis une partie très courageuse de leur part, et on les félicite pour ça. Uh, et une quatrième place ici au tournoi des Canadiens. Merci beaucoup et à demain.